When New Horizons came out, it was a smash hit, selling over 5 million copies in March of 2020 alone. But for fans of earlier games, there was one glaring omission that cast a shadow over the experience. Where was Brewster? Brewster made his first appearance in Wild World in 2005, returning in 2008 for City Folk, and in 2013 in New Leaf. Given how much of New Leaf carried over into New Horizons, he was immediately conspicuous by his absence. But with the new update, Brewster is moving back into the museum to run his cafe, The Roost. Wait, Brewster? Works in The Roost? I mean, it's not a rooster, though. He's like a pigeon. Oh, or whatever. In honor of gaming's most famous pigeon, no, not you, Percy the Potty Pigeon, let's take a look at Brewster's musical theme, which helps to make his coffee shop a calm and relaxing place to sit and take a break. It's in 12.8, a flowing compound meter that rocks along in a very soothing way. Incidentally, most lullabies are in a compound meter. Something about it just lends to a sense of calm. The melody starts out in stacked thirds, which always sounds nice, but it's not quite as simple as that. Brewster's theme is only eight bars long before it repeats, but it is chock full of little musical treats that keep it interesting. The primary thing is the use of dissonance. Dissonance and consonance are two sides of a musical coin, in that one only works because of the other. It's like how an olive flounder can still be exciting, because at least it's not another sea bass. <laughs> C plus. That's hilarious. In the case of Brewster's theme, we're looking specifically at accented dissonance. The theme is in C major, a triad that includes C, E, and G. If I were to rewrite this theme using only consonant tones, meaning members of the underlying triads, it would sound like this. It's still lovely, of course, but it's missing that little spark that makes the real theme so unforgettable. That spark is created by accented dissonance. Basically, on the strongest part of each measure, we hear notes that are not in the underlying triad. Over the first chord, C major, we get this B and D, a seventh and ninth, respectively, that resolve up to join the rest of the chord later. Over the next chord, A minor, we get the B and D again, this time a ninth and fourth, which again resolve up on the weaker part of the beat. The third chord is E minor, and this time only the D, the seventh, is included as the accented dissonance. It's a little thing, but it changes it from a pretty but boring kind of tune to a pretty and interesting melody. But it doesn't stop there. The second half of this short melody introduces a number of chromatic pitches, meaning notes that don't fit in C major at all. The first is the B flat, which makes this normally G major chord a G minor chord, then this D flat, which turns it into a G diminished chord. The next measure does it again, moving from a D minor chord over F to a D diminished chord over F by lowering the diatonic A to the borrowed A flat from the minor mode. This modal borrowing, or taking notes from C minor and using them in C major, is a simple but effective way to add some neat color to the melody. Again, if all the notes are consonant and in the key, it would be pretty, but it would also get boring more quickly. The final bars set up a nice 5-1 cadence, moving from C over G to G and ending on C, which would sound like this. But it pulls a fast one. After setting up the C over G, it actually goes to D major over G. Again, this F sharp doesn't belong in C major. Then moving by half step to D diminished over G, now the A flat is borrowed, and finally resolving back to C. We still hear this as a 5-1 cadence because of the underlying motion from G to C, but these borrowed chords above it give it way more interest. To use a coffee analogy, since it feels appropriate, this theme could have been very tame. Getting your coffee, waiting for it to cool to a drinkable temperature, then enjoying it but not really feeling anything special. But as we know, Brewster likes you to drink his coffee hot, so there are little musical elements in here that feel like a piping hot cup of coffee. 
there a little bit uncomfortable for a moment, and then it passes, and we're enjoying something really nice. It's only eight measures of music, but there's a reason that people upload versions of Brewster's theme that repeat for hours. It's relaxing and comforting, but interesting enough to keep you engaged. Thanks for watching this video, enjoy the New Horizons update, and I'll see you in the coffee shop.